You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. Now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. For bailing me out. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody. Whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. 
It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... Had to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. 